Bhagavan Ram. He is doing his little, little pastimes, toddling around in the courtyard of Dashrat and Kaushalya, bestowing varieties of bliss. The Ram Leela would take a full seven days in itself. In the Bhagavad, Ram Leela is very short. It is only one and a half chapters of the ninth canto. The intention of Shukadev is not to elaborate the Ram Leela, but he does a great, extensive description of Krishna Leela. So, one and a half chapter is just touching along. For the sake of savoring that Ram Katha Ras, I would like to relate one or two pastimes of that. You see, when Vishwamitra came, when Ram had reached his youth, then Lakshman and Ram, they accompanied Vishwamitra into the forest. And there Ram first killed Tadaka, and then he encountered the demons Marit and Subahu. And subsequently from there, Vishwamitra said, you have rid us of the demons. Should we go back or there is another yagya that is taking place, we can go there. So, on Vishwamitra's request, Ram accompanied him. He did the Uddhar of Ahilya and finally they reached Janakpur. They were welcomed by King Janak. And the three of them rested in that palace of Janak. Ram, he requested Guru Vishwamitra that can I go around and take a look at this city? His intention was that his Rupa Madhuri, his beauty, he will drown the residents of Mithila, the residents of Janakpur in that divine bliss. Ram and Lakshman walked around. Now all those who saw, they were enchanted. Some are saying, my, my, who is this? We really pray that our Sita is married to him. But he is not so powerful. How will he ever break that Shiv Dhanush? Somebody said that Janak made a big mistake by making a resolve that he will only give the hand of Sita to the person who breaks. Somebody else said, come on, how can you blame Janak? Somebody else said, no, no, no. If he gets married to Sita, whenever he comes to Sasural, we'll have his darshan. So they all presenting their ideas moved by the beauty of the personal form of God. Now that night, Ram and Lakshman, they were pressing the feet of Vishwamitra. Finally, when Vishwamitra was sleepy, he said, All right, my children, go to sleep. The Vishwamitra went off to sleep. Ram and Lakshman retired to the next room. Lakshman was pressing the feet of Ram. For 14 years later, he is not going to sleep, but on this occasion, Ram said, enough, my dear brother, you go to sleep now. So they both slept. Next morning, Ram and Lakshman, they went to Guru Vishwamitra and said, Gurudev, if you permit us, for your puja, we will break a few flowers and bring them. So Vishwamitra said, please go ahead. They went off to the Pushpa Vatika. Now there are two Vatikas in the Ram Katha. One is the Ashoka Vatika of a demon called Raman and the other is the Pushpa Vatika of a Videh Raj, a king who is so evolved that he doesn't even have perception of his body. And Sita is in both the Vatikas. 
So Ram and Lakshman, they asked the guards, can we break flowers from here for our Gurudev? The guards said, yes, yes, should we help you? So Ram said, no, 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 we will do this seva ourselves. Now they were breaking the flowers. When Sita entered, this is the time Sita makes her entry into the Ram Katha. She was surrounded by her Sakhis. There was a temple of Parvati Gauri there and Sita was going to worship. So while the Sakhis were going, Sita was about to enter the temple building when one of the Sakhis noticed Ram and Lakshman. She came running and said, Hey Sita, do your puja afterwards. Something more important has come. Those two princes who have inundated all the Mithilavasis in divine bliss, they are in the garden. Come, come. So hearing that, Sita turned around and started speeding. First of all, Ram heard the nupur of her feet. Ram said, Lakshman, what is this sound coming? Is it that Kamdev, the god of love, is on a victory march? Ram had not yet seen Sita, but Lakshman saw her. So Lakshman said, my dear brother, please come in. He took him inside into the grove. So Ram said, what are you doing? Lakshman said, I want to ensure that the other side also gets attracted to you. So he started doing the Shringar of Ram. And that is the only place where Ram does the Shringar with the more punk. So after doing the Shringar, they came out. And at that time, Ram saw Sita. When Ram saw Sita, he became so thrilled in bliss that little beads of sweat appeared on his forehead. Out there, Sita was walking when she suddenly saw Ram. And the moment she saw Ram, she took his image into her heart and closed her eyes. The Sakhi said, what is this? This is no time to meditate, have his darshan. The Sita opened the eyes and that time she found that Ram is breaking the flowers and sweating. She thought, my, my, I wish I get married to him. But how will he break that shift? Dhanush, he is sweating in the breaking of the flowers. So she thought, I need to go and pray to Gauri, please empower him that he may break the Dhanush. She turned around and she went to the mandir. And as we all know, when she offered her pranam to Gauri, at that time the garland fell upon her and the murti spoke. Man jahi rachyo milahi sovar sahaj sundar savaro karuna nidhan sujan shil saneha janat ravaro Ehi bhanti gauri asis sunisiya sahit hiya harshit ali Tulasi bhavani puji puni puni modet man mandir chali Sita felt that her prayers had been answered. Subsequently, after that, in the mandap of Raja Janak, Bhagwan Ram in front of the assembly of all the princes, he snapped the Shiv Dhanush. So when that Shiv Dhanush was snapped, now this little episode I will say and then close it. The moment it was snapped, the princes out there got up. Who is this who has broken it? We will kill him. Now, Lakshmanji cannot tolerate anything said against his brother. He came in between. He said, any of you wish to speak to him, you speak to me first. He neutralized all of them. Janak instructed the Dasis of Sita, 
ask her to come so sita came with the varmala in her hand now when she was walking forward at that time tulsi das ji says i have got no adjectives to describe her divine beauty he curses these objectives why did you get utilized in advance now i have no way to glorify the divine mother of the universe the adjectives the visheshan they say we are incapable of describing the beauty of sita so that divine sita with the mala in her hand she came forward she reached where ram was standing the whole assembly was quiet she lifted the varmala just a little bit and ram he bowed down before her so that she may lift it further and put it but sita just froze in that position so ram was left with his head bowed before sita a couple of minutes went by everybody is so tense nobody is saying anything people are wondering what is happening here ram whispered why are you delaying so much <laughs> sita whispered back why did you delay so much in breaking the bow time is still passing by so now ram said look sita it's not about me what will these kings think that i am standing before you with my head bowed sita said that is the lesson i want to teach everybody those who were unable to break the bow they are standing with their chest out haughty in pride and he who broke the bow is displaying his humbleness with his head bowed down before me sita is swayam bhakti herself she is the personification of bhakti if she doesn't teach the first lesson of bhakti which is humbleness then who else will teach so ram said enough is enough now he looked at lakshman ji said, please help out do one thing you are the avatar of anant shesh lift the earth a little below her feet so the mala will reach me lakshman ji said no if i start lifting the earth it will lift equally below both of you the gap will remain the same so then vishwamitra indicated lakshman went and fell at the feet of his brother the so ram bowed down even further and then sita placed the jaymala on his neck boliye shri sita ram ki so this is the sweet sample of the ram katha i like i said in the bhagavat it is only one and a half chapters shukadev summarized it all and stopped and then he was quiet and parikshit was also quiet so parikshit said go ahead shukadev now in the dasham skand he started relating the krishna leela he related two shlokas and stopped parikshit said maharaj shukadev is quiet i am not going to be satisfied in two shlokas i need to hear the krishna leela in great detail hence the dasham skan the 10th canto is called the ridai the heart of the shrimad bhagavatam and it is the biggest 90 chapters 